Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today is like a recording marathon. I know, y'all getting tired of seeing the same old, same old. But, I've got, excuse me, several tag videos that um, I needed to do and catch up on. Let my camera get back into focus. Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. Are we right? Are we still friends? Okay, so this one is Tag Your It, and it's by Gylene. Well, Gylene started it. <laughs> it's not by Gylene. She doesn't have a trademark on it, but um, Gylene started it. I don't know if she tagged me or if somebody else tagged me. or It's possible I've been tagged by several people and just, I just, I don't know. But this is mostly about stamping because a lot of us, nail YouTube people. We, we're some stamping junkies. So, we're going to get into it. It's 12 questions. Um, and I might have to stop the camera to grab stuff because I, I was, like, not prepared. <laughs> Can you tell what kind of student I was? <laughs> okay, when did you first start stamping? I've been stamping, oh, goodness, probably about six years. Yes, yeah, something like that. It's probably been about six years. Maybe, maybe longer. Um, and it's, how did that go? Well, at first it didn't go very well because my first stamper was awful. I still own it. Y'all want to see? Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> and I don't know why I held on to it. I really don't because it's awful. But it's the Ali, or the Salon Express stamper. The end is very hard. Um, it's not very big, and it's got another end, and it came with this, a scraper, and like five plates, and the scraper, I believe it was metal. No, it wasn't. It was plastic. But it also had a little tray that you could stitch, stitch your little stamp in, plate in the little round ones, and um, use it that way, and um, I didn't I didn't have a whole lot of luck with that. I did finally get it to work. Um sometimes and it just it was never that good now the next stamper I got was this little one and it's got a pink stamper head and I don't, I don't oh here it is hang on I did find it but it's got this is the one I use in my shaker to shake up my mini bottles I put the but anyway so that's why the stamper heads missing out of it and this one was okay it was a little bit softer it was a little more easy to manage you know it was uh, nothing 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 like what we got going on now. So, there we go. That was my first stamper. I've got the longest answers ever. I'm sorry. Um, and how long did it take you to get a successful Manny done? I, I did it the same day I got it. The same day that this junk rolled up in the house, um, I... I made it work. I kept taking stuff off and putting stuff on. And stuff. So I did it within, I don't know, eight hours of me opening the mail. I, I did it. Um, but as far as continually getting successful manis out of it um, without cussing and throwing a fit, um, it was a while. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was probably a good month before... And this was, I'm talking a good month of lots of practice um, before it got to where I knew what I was doing and could make it work. But it was also because I got a different stamper. And this one probably came off of like AliExpress or something. And then I got a Fabio Nails one. And this one was a game changer for me. Now it wasn't clear like, like what we have nowadays. But it's sticky and it's soft. And I had... Ugh, I had so much success with that from Fab Your Nails. So, um, excellent, excellent. Okay, how and when did, you, when did you decide to start doing it on YouTube? Okay, I was stalking YouTube people for years. <laughs> okay, I watched Colette from My Simple Little Pleasures for years before I ever even thought. Okay, I watched her for years before I even knew I could leave a comment. I thought you had to pay to be to be a subscriber. So, this is just craziness. So, um, you know, I watched her and some other people, but, you know, and I was, and I did start leaving comments. So, I started leaving comments for um, Sharke and Sylvia over at Hell of a Nails. And, we got to chatting, and they were like my first friendships, like, on YouTube. But it was only in 
I was a subscriber. I wasn't doing a channel yet. And they just kept encouraging me. And, you know, like, they just kept telling me, you know, you can do it. you you got to do it. And, you know, and then Karen from It's Me Karen 99, she got in on it, too. And she's like, you ought to make videos. And, you know, and so I did it. And um, so I have those three ladies to thank. Char hadn't made videos in a while, and I really do miss her. There's a lot of people that um, I used to watch and learn from that they're no, no longer doing it. Like um, Gina, so guess what? Um, she was <laughs> she was amazing at stamping, and she just had such an eye for it. But anyway, I started doing mine. <laughs> Back to the question, Tina. I started doing mine, um, I think it was April of 2016, and... I hadn't looked back since then. I mean, I've just kept going. And the reason why it took me so long to start a channel was because I was a copycat. I didn't have any original ideas. I didn't know how to, like, match things up. Or, I'm telling y'all, I, I took things that I saw other people do, and I recreated what they did on my nails exactly. Even if it meant going and buying the polishes they had so that I could get the exact look that they had. So, um... I was really worried about that, but something just clicked when I started my channel. I wanted to make sure I wasn't, like, being a total copycat. I mean, I'm sure a lot of things you see on my channel you've seen done on other channels. I might not have ever even seen them and just did it because there's, you know, there's, you know, nautical manis and unicorn manis and different techniques, and we all, we all do them, and we use the products we have, and... I'm rambling. I'm sorry. I might have had too much caffeine today. So, um, my first plate was, like I said, it was from that Salon Express. And I think I might have one of them left. One or two. I gave, I guess, started giving them away. Um, because there wasn't like, it didn't have a lot on it. There were little round plates with like five or six boring images on them and I was just over it so um, when I started buying other plates I started just giving away the stuff that I didn't need and so I, I, I don't even know that that still exists but I do remember after that little kit fiasco um, and this was some of that you know as seen on TV buy it in store stuff I had to order mine off eBay I couldn't find that junk nowhere so, um, but my first real purchase of a stamping plate, I bought like five Conad plates, probably straight up from Conad. They were expensive, and they didn't have a lot on them either, but I knew that everybody was talking about them and how good they were, and I wanted to find some plates that were made really good. So, that's what we did with that. Um, and what stamping polish did you use? I bought a mini set of Conad stamping polishes. They were like this big. They were little teeny tiny things. It was black, white, silver, gold, red, and blue, I think. And those have been long gone. Those are used up, way gone. And I also used a lot of my regular polishes, like China Glaze's um, liquid leather worked really well for me. Um, the Color Club Hollows worked really well. So I used a lot of, you know, depending on what I had on my nails, you know, I, I did you know, I, I could get away with using um, regular polishes. Okay, next. Okay, we already talked about my first stamper. So I skipped all the way to number eight on like number two. Or number one. Anyway. So there we go. That was my first stamper. Um, my first stamper that I really, really fell in love with and I don't know if she does these anymore. And I had to put little notes on them. This was from Shelby Stamp. And I bought two of them. The white one and kind of the more clear one. And these are like wicked sticky. These are like crazy sticky. And they're in the little barrels. And um, so that was... At, I don't know if I bought those before or after the Fabernail ones. But the Fabernail ones... It's, it's kind of like... A wildfire. You buy one and buy another one, buy another one. Like when I would stop trying to buy polish, I was buying stampers. So, I mean, and I bought them all so close together. But, oh, just look down. No. This, after the stupid, this one, the stupid one, this was the first one I bought. It was Pistonia. And um, this is like a regular hit on it now. Um, I still have my super sticky marshmallow stamper for it. Game changer, that one was. Winstonia. 
Um, okay. Do you still... Okay. It's t Number nine. <laughs> Get on track, Tina. Number nine. Do you own any brand's entire collections of plates or stamping polishes? Okay, I have all of the You Are Beautiful plates that were discontinued because they were, you know, thieving. Um, they got in trouble for copyright issues. Um, I own all of them. At one time, I owned all of the Bundle Monster stamping plates. But I lost track a couple of years ago, maybe about a year ago. It got to where I couldn't keep up. They were coming out with so many at once that I just could not... I couldn't afford to keep up. It was either eat or buy stamping plates, and so I have to, have to eat because I love to eat. But um, so there we go. Um, stamping polishes. I own all of the Nicole Diary ones that were out, that are out, as far as I know. I don't think they've come out with any new colors, um, and I think that's yeah, that's the only one I have the whole collection. I used to own all of the MDU polishes in the little baby mini sizes, but they've released a whole lot more colors and stuff, and I, I hadn't kept up. I didn't go back. I didn't go get them. So, to answer the question, I had a cold diary. That's it. That's all. Okay. Number 10. You can only use one brand of stamping polish from now on. What do you use? If I could only use one, for here on ever. I would probably have to say Nicole Diary. Um, I've been really impressed with them and I'm looking at them right now and I think with the color selection that's there I could do whatever I need to do. I think, you know, I think I could do everything with them that I need to do. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Same question about plates. Okay. There are an insane amount of plate makers that I haven't even tried. Um, I don't have um, any Egebus, 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 Egebus. I don't have any of those. Um, I don't have any MoU London ones. Um, I've got a couple of Lena ones that my friend Connie sent me, and I have a couple of Cece and Sissy ones that my friend. Eileen sent me, um, but yeah, I, there's just too many that I don't know. Um, Creative Shop, I don't own any of those, and they look amazing. Every time I go look, I'll have a couple of things in my basket. I'm like, okay, well, let's just at least get one or two and try them. I'm so scared to go to their site because I want them all. I don't want one or two. I want all of them, so that's why I don't own any of them. <laughs> Okay, so I can't even answer that question. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so same question on stampers. Stampers. I'm um, I'm pretty all over the board with stampers. I use my Bundle Monster monocle stamper a lot. I use my little AliExpress clear one a lot. Those are the ones that are living on my table right now. But I love all of these stampers. I mean, I've got a whole drawer. I'll do a video on that one day and show y'all how bad the situation can get if you don't watch out. Um, let me, I know it's right back behind me, so let me grab it. Actually, it's two its. These two are amazing. These are the Conad little stampers, and they're a lot like that little AliExpress one, but I love the way you can hold them, and I just, these, these are, these are like really, really nice. So, um, but I don't know that I have a brand of stampers, because I like all of them. <laughs> I mean, except for this one. Need to have a bonfire or something. So, anywho. So that is it. Those are the 12 answers for the Tag Your It stamping edition. And I would like to thank Eileen for tagging me. And anybody else that tagged me and I didn't pay attention, I didn't write notes. So I think there were other people that tagged me also. So that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.